discuss with you the difference between what a shoulder motion golf swing looks like versus a hip center motion golf swing. Now, the conventional style swing is the shoulder center moving off the ball. The right knee is flexed and like a post. The hip center stays relatively steady. When you do this, you increase your chances of hitting the ground behind the ball. Now, the old timers, Hogan, Nelson, Sneed, Demerit, Palmer, Johnny Miller, if you want to call him an old timer, he's getting up there. Um, they all move their hip center off the golf ball. The right leg straightened, left knee sagged in, the whole left side sagged in. The shoulder center tilted a little bit more forward as the hip center went back. This will allow a player to get 120 degrees a turn versus 90. So in a shoulder centered motion that stays on top of the golf ball, I'm going to drive a lot more power from my hips and legs as my arms swing into it. This is basically what the back and tilt approach is. The shoulder just stays steady as the hips go back and through. So again, it's a very simple motion. You do have to make a little compensation to keep this steady. That compensation can be done at the very start of your swing. Tilt a little to the left and stand up a little bit. As you rotate, you'll see that your head is in the same spot. If I just tilt to the left and rotate, I drop. So you actually have to compensate for the rotation of your shoulders by standing up slightly to the left with a little tilt and then rotating. The more you push your hip center through by straightening your legs, it increases the chance that more pop through the shot. So when I can straighten my legs, that's allowing me to move my hip center more upward and through the shot. I told you about Arnold Palmer and his shoulder centered stillness and his hip center moving in a pendulum motion. You can see the left leg is relatively straight, but not locked. And there's Nicholas with his arms a little bit more upright. And you just compare those two swings, and I know they're not on the same camera angle, but they're very similar with that component. This is Tony Lima. He had the same motion as Palmer. There's David Duvall. David Duvall had the same motion, the same component, shoulder stillness, hip center pendulum, right leg straightening. Up above is Tiger Woods, and there's literally a stack and tilt book on the ground behind him. He's got to work on straightening his right leg there. Uh, there he is, trying to do it. Some other pictures, we've got Christy O'Connor, Harvey Ward, Dean Wilson. Interesting is Steve Stricker. I see the similarities in these golf swings where a lot of people will look at them and say, well, this is the difference. Look for the similarities in things. This is an interesting picture of Ben Hogan talking about what he felt on the left side. And then when he actually made a golf swing, that's what he looks like on the right side. It's an interesting picture that you'll find in Ben Hogan's book, Five Fundamentals. If you look really closely at those circles above his head, Hogan's shoulders would be more over the left side of his hip instead of moving back like the conventional style swing teachers. This is an interesting picture. Um, this is in a golf magazine. This is Darren Clark saying, don't do this, do this. Um, he doesn't want you to tilt your shoulders down and keep your shoulder center still and rock your hip center. He wants you to rotate off the golf ball. Just like the Hogan picture, though, when we look at Darren Clark's actual swing, um, he tilts his shoulders down. The only difference between that frame and this one is Darren Clark has rotated his shoulders more. That's exactly what will happen with the left and extend your spine up and rotate. 
However, conventional style swing teachers teach this.